Yo, what's up dudes, it's your boy Eagle Brava, and I'm back with episode 30 of my Borderlands 2 Legendary Weapons Guide. In this video, we're going to be going over the Transformer shield. There are no prefix, it's just going to be the Transformer. I was lucky enough to get an OP level 10 version. The red text says, there is more than your eye can see. And we're of course going to be going over who drops this gun, how to farm for it, make it easy for you, and then lastly, show you guys some gameplay and go through the wiki at the end. Now, to get this weapon, we are going to be fast traveling to the Wildlife Exploitation Preserve. If you guys watched my last video on the Deliverance, you already know this, but uh, we're, we're going to be farming a mini boss named Pomone, which is a random spawn. But we are going to run over to the Natural Selection Annex to make that farm a lot quicker for you guys. So I'll just speed this up for you, make it easy, and just follow my path and we'll get you to the Natural Selection Annex. So now that we've gotten to the doorway, we're going to go right in here and the natural selection annex will be to the right. And if you do not have this unlocked, you can actually jump into a friend's game that does have this unlocked and then that will automatically unlock it for you. So we go into the annex, we come right back out that way. We spawn every single time right here when we save and quit. Now, Pomone and Toomba are going to be random spawns. You can see Pomone did just pop up right there, um, but they might not spawn every single time. So if you do not see them out here, just save and quit. And then you're going to, of course, spawn right there. Peek out. If they do spawn, there you go. If not, save and quit again. The spawn rate, I feel like, is pretty consistent. I feel like they were at least spawning once every three times from what I was going for man i feel like i've farmed this thing for like three hours but you can see there's toomba but we are going to be farming the stalker pomone and he is right here we're just going to take him out quick and then you'll see he does drop us the transformer shield and there it is right there baby op level 10 so we're going to pick that up and you're of course going to get lit up by rabid skags and rabid stalkers man if you hit the like button if you absolutely despise rabid anything in this freaking game man so there's the transformer shield uh now that we've shown you guys the drop let's jump into some gameplay and go through the wiki transformer is a legendary absorb shielded borderlands 2 manufactured by vladoff it is obtained randomly from many suitable loot stores but has an increased chance to drop from pomone located in the wildlife exploitation preserve now, the element it only does come in is shock, so it won't come in anything else outside of that. And the absorption compared to the sham is absolutely terrible on this freaking thing. The special shield effects, the red text says there's more than your eye can see, does not receive shock damage over time, and shock damage recharges the shield. Increased capacity, but reduced recharge rate, recharge delay, and absorb chance. Now, that is very interesting. I actually did not know that before going into Lynchwood, where there's absolutely no shock damage getting thrown around at all. Uh, so when I was using this, this shield, it just wasn't doing it for me, man. I think this one had like a 23% absorption chance, whereas the sham has a 94%. So, you know, I could definitely tell the difference of that. I had no idea that this shield charges up when it gets shock damage, and no wonder the shield the the recharge rate was terrible it's a massive shield man it is the, the shield is it's a it's a huge capacity but it just the recharge rate rate was bad the absorption obviously at 23 percent is pretty bad uh so i was confused as to why this was as good of a legendary as it could be I'm, i was confused but that makes a lot of sense now so i guess don't uh knock it until you read through the special shield effects i guess now the usage and description says, although the Transformer does not have an exceptional bonus to absorb chance, it has an additional ability to recharge from shock damage. In particular, it is effective when fighting loaders and surveyors because of their electrical bolt attacks. The immunity to electrocution damage over time quality also means that the Vault Hunter could step inside the shielded area of an ion loader without taking damage from its lightning attack. The Transformer has a maximum bullet absorption chance of 42 
This is lower than the generic purple rarity of Vladoff Absorption Shields, which can have an absorption chance up to 49%. So the absorb chance is pretty low. Max is out at 42. However, if you guys are taking shock damage, that is going to recharge your freaking shield, man. I wish I knew that before I recorded all of this stuff. But anyway, guys, that was the Transformer shield. Of course, if you do like the series, if you are farming these legendaries with me, be sure to let me know in the comments, man. Hit the thumbs up. I've been having a blast in Borderlands 2. We've knocked out 30 episodes. We're going to keep out the daily uploads. So expect these and hopefully we can get the, through these quick and then maybe move on to unique weapons seraphs who knows we'll see man but i've been having a blast with this and hopefully you guys have been enjoying anyway guys thanks so much for stopping by we'll catch you in the next episode peace